What's up YouTube? This is CJ and Sarah. It's a Wednesday and that means it's time for another keto conversation. So let's get started. So it is a blustery rainy day in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we have been, it's just been raining for one day, right? <laughs> it just seems like it's it feels been like it's been raining. Life. It feels like it's been raining for for weeks and weeks, but actually it hasn't. But um, did you know that New York City gets more rain than we do? Yeah, I've heard that before. Yeah, but yes. we, you know, we get all the it rains all the time in yeah. this area. Yeah. Well, actually, the rain, the weather patterns have changed because when I first moved here in 1989, I mean, it did rain, yeah. rain for weeks and I weeks. I think global warming has affected. It rained Everywhere. for weeks and weeks. It did rain, rain mm -hmm. for a long time. It has changed now. But I think some years are better than others, mm -hmm. just like some of our summers are better than others. I know yeah. that you guys tuned in to get a weather forecast. Yeah, you? sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. All right, so this week we're going to talk about three times when keto can be difficult. Or our notes say three times that keto can suck. <laughs> and so just we, it out there. we wanted to just talk about this we're real people just like y'all just like everybody else uh, and so we experience ups and downs of keto although we've been doing keto for quite some time right and this is actually a topic that we discussed yeah, we, a couple of years but ago we, we've been doing keto for a while it's been what three years yep and so you know we've been through some of this but there's a lot of people that are just starting keto or maybe this is your first year with keto mm -hmm. first couple of months and you know sometimes there are times when keto sucks and we wanted to talk about that so number one the number one time when keto can suck or be difficult is when you're sick and one of the things that brought this up is that actually you're not feeling well I have a cold yeah she's yes. got a cold which is rare you don't really get colds at no, all no and I mean I've I'm actually getting it quite late because you know I have small children and then I also clean in middle school and all the kids and the, all my coworkers and the other employees there were getting sick right at the beginning of September. So I'm actually getting it fairly late. Yeah. But it, and it's more of an annoyance than anything else. So why is keto? Why does keto? Why is keto difficult in your opinion when you're sick? What's what's because so you difficult? don't feel good. You don't want to cook. You want easy comfort foods. You want to crack open a can of Campbell's chicken noodle yeah. soup and eat a sleeve of saltines. Preferably with butter on it, you know. You some put of those butter on your oh saltines. My God. Are you serious? If somebody said, "What's your death row food?" It would be just saltines with butter on it. Are you them. serious? I'm serious. Is that like an Idaho thing? No. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. That's just a white trash thing. So maybe it is the Idaho thing. <laughs> but anyway, I when didn't you say that. oh, no. and then what's really good is you, you would put the buttered saltine into your chicken we, soup, we and then it would be, be like we shouldn't be talking anyway. About, we shouldn't be talking about all the random thoughts, mem memories <laughs> of saltine crackers. So the point being is that a lot of times when you don't feel good, you want to reach out for things, comfort foods yeah. that made you know when you were sick and you already didn't feel good, and so sometimes that can be difficult because maybe you don't feel like having a cheeseburger. Or maybe you don't feel like having eggs and bacon when you don't yeah. feel good. So sometimes that can be difficult yeah, and I, when you I'm, don't feel good. I'm trying to remember, I was sick, it's been quite a while, but there was something that had happened to me a couple of years ago and we were doing keto mm -hmm. and I kind of felt like, wow, I can't really... Well, like if you get the stomach flu. I had some kind of stomach issue yeah. and so it was like, wow, I can't... Uh, well, I could have had like a diet because they always recommend up. like the brat diet or, or bread i couldn't have it's bread. like bananas right. rice apple right. sauce. i couldn't have any of that stuff and i yeah. remember uh i remember when i whenever whatever whatever i was going through it was something to do with my stomach and uh, i remember it was it was a time where i felt like wow okay yeah. i really because you usually have like toast yeah i can't tea, have toast super easily digest you know because high carb foods digest super quickly and that's mm -hmm. the reason why they hit yeah. your blood sugar so quickly and so sometimes it's hard when you don't feel good to think yeah, of things and, and one of the things i guess i kind of thought about uh when, along this line was because we don't have now we have kids so we still have bread in the house we have i mean so we have certain things in the house because we still have young children i remember one time izzy got sick I didn't have anything like ginger ale or 7-Up. 
Now that that's not so. I mean, because you can get diet stuff. Right. You can always you can get diet stuff. But I remember thinking at that moment, it was like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> who's gonna that, have diet? That I don't. Drill? Right. Who's like gonna have Seven Eleven or right, somewhere that's gonna, open? It, you know. And so it was kind of like oh crap. But it wasn't for me anyway. So I was right. able to just go out but and that get thought it. That crossed your mind. But it, it crossed yeah. my mind that wow, I don't have some of this stuff that I used to have because. Well, and even you like know, you went to. We don't eat that way. You went to Walmart for me last night because I said I would really like some like Al Alka-Seltzer plus cold yeah. medicine but I had to look it up to see if it had carbs what it was sweetened with so just sometimes I guess that what we're trying to drive home with is that sometimes when you don't feel good leading this type of lifestyle can seem a little bit more difficult yeah maybe it and you know what that's normal better. it is it's normal, it's normal. It's and it normal. will pass and you can have some bone broth because yeah. you can have that anytime. <laughs> yeah. Well, and another another option when I guess you're not feeling well, you just don't eat anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, absolutely. That's another option. That's always an option. Uh, don't eat, or like yeah. you said, bone broth. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there's probably other things that people do um, that are on keto when they get not feeling well. But but sometimes when you're in that moment and you're not feeling well, and you just it, want just, to be taken care of and loved and comforted. Right. It can be a little bit more difficult. Yeah. So. so another time that keto can be difficult is when you travel. Uh, I go back and forth about this one um, because I think when you, I've traveled several times on keto. Well, well, we, even this we, year. well we both went, we went, went to Hawaii. You've traveled, you've flown three times this year. Yeah, but but all of those times I knew that I was traveling. I right. mean, so I, I had time. It wasn't to, like someone passed away and you had to get on right. the plane immediately. To, I had time to prepare. I had time to plan. And, and, and again, we've done keto for three years. And so a lot of that stuff we've been through multiple it gets times. It a little easier gets, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And so I know just, that if I'm flying, I know, okay, uh, Maybe I should get a bag of pepperoni. Right, or Maybe some, get some or, cheese. Or cook up a pound of bacon. That yeah, we did really that. We, did that. <laughs> we, we went to Hawaii. That's awesome. But, but totally we had, recommended. But that was a planned trip, right. and so I guess you know if you had a, an emergency situation, you had to jump on the rope really fast, and you didn't have time to prepare. Uh, that could you know sometimes it could suck. But well, like if you are in an airport. It, it can be kind of hard to find ketogenic food in an airport. A yeah, little bit more difficult. Well, it, you have to think about it. Right. I think you have to think about but, it. But I mean, that's probably true anytime. Yeah, yeah. You have, but you have to think about it. If you're in an airport, I mean, there have been. I think this year when I traveled, I didn't really take as much stuff when I went to Vegas. I don't think I took as much stuff as I normally take. Well, it's a, it so was I a shorter actually, flight. Too. So I actually, yeah. but I actually got some stuff at the at the airport, and I think I picked up. Maybe some almonds. Usually, you can find nuts, cheese, yeah. like you said, pepperoni, so, yeah, jerky. So, but from a convenience standpoint, it is something because you're living the keto lifestyle. It's something you have to think about a little bit more, prepare for it a little bit, a little bit more. Right. And so, versus just being able to grab anything, a muffin or something from yeah, Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, because you know a lot of times when we travel. Even <coughs> even if it's so, if it's a planned trip, you're going on a holiday somewhere, or you're going, you know. A lot of times we kind of want to let loose and just enjoy, treat yourself, treat yourself yeah. right? <laughs> you know, when we go, like with my daughter and I travel, uh, yeah, she loves, go well, she goes to Starbucks all the time. But she really likes to go to Starbucks at the airport. I have no idea why. I think it's just, I think it's just a part of. <laughs> it me um, it's probably just a ritual, like yeah, I'm traveling, I'm yeah, doing something I'm fun. I'm traveling, I'm yeah. doing something fun, I'm gonna get a, a muffin. Yeah. And it's <laughs> part of my, you know, just. Experience. Experience, yeah. and so, and, and a lot of us adults were like that too. You know, you go on vacation, you wanna let your hair down a little bit, you wanna mm -hmm. eat a little bit different. And sometimes if you made the decision to, to live the keto lifestyle, it can be difficult um, to continue to eat, to the, continue same to eat the same way. Yeah. And so we get that. Uh, again, we've done keto for three years, and so we've kind of been down that road. I guess one of the things I would say, though, is, you know, airports, you can find things. Convenience stores, you can find things. I, even if you're driving somewhere, you gotta stop at a fast food place. There's keto. There's things you can make into I a keto. I really thing. have not been to a fast food restaurant. I couldn't find yeah, absolutely anything. Yeah. So there's there's ways to do it. It's just I think part of it is maybe it's more of a mental thing. It it's just it's just because it's not easy and convenient. You gotta think about it, and maybe sometimes you just don't want to think about it. You just yeah. want to 
be to do what you do and what you used to be able to do and sometimes it can be a little bit difficult so and likewise our third one is uh, it can be a difficult when you are visiting someone else yeah yeah and so when you're visiting relatives or visiting friends and whether that's just for going over to someone's house for dinner or if that's like if you're yeah. going to stay with them for yeah. a while it can be it can be difficult i mean we know that we so i know a couple of weeks we, or last week we just did the thanksgiving mm -hmm video and we you know try to pump you up about staying keto during thanksgiving which we truly do believe you can do because we are we do it and but i mean our family is is has either practiced the ketogenic yeah. lifestyle in the past is currently practicing hope to practice it again yeah. so we're we have a very you know response yeah we've got family. we've got some we've got some support even though they may not be doing it like we are all the time but they still get ketogenic it ketogenic foods will they, be brought yeah, they, they get will it. be served they understand you know, but some of y'all wouldn't go into situations with your family where it's strictly carby yeah, yeah where it's strictly carby people difficult. might be teasing you about what you can't have and, and and so you have to face all that and so we get it and so sometimes when you're visiting other folks um it can be a little bit difficult again if you can plan ahead that's that's a strategy that you can always use um, but there's so many so many um, food constraints anymore I guess is is nowadays is how I'm I'm choosing to phrase it even not just the ketogenic lifestyle it seems like a lot of people can't eat gluten or they're not That's you know true. they're vegan That's or true. you know so you might not be the only family member yeah, it, it, that is practicing yeah something and it's funny you just different. said that I was telling you about uh, a friend of mine Pat mm -hmm. and Pat just got diagnosed as being type 2 diabetic and but he was telling me you know so we were talking about keto i mean a, i mean it was like two days after he had been diagnosed so he he was trying to figure out how he was going to eat and he's on metformin and all that so i started talking to him about keto but he was mentioning that another person that i know that he works with she's a vegan yeah and so there's all kinds of people there, who are yeah so maybe different. some people you know you're going to be with people who have kids and they can't eat food dyes or i mean there's yeah. all kinds of things that maybe in your individual family or your extended family maybe you have a cousin who's a vegan or they can't eat gluten or whatever there's going to be i'm sure other food related constraints wherever yeah. you go so you don't need to feel weird about it but yeah. like cj said if you can do some planning ahead that's always good most hosts and hostesses know what's going to be served so you can call them and ask questions yeah. you know and in that way you can kind of get an idea of maybe what you might need and like when you have visited your parents in the past yeah they know you eat a certain way so you will generally get groceries before you go yeah you know, that kind yeah. of yeah when i go see my folks it's just a pretty standard practice for me to stop at a walmart pick up a few things that i know that i can eat Eggs, pick up bacon. pick up some things that i know my daughter will eat mm -hmm. my daughter's not doing keto but I still want to pick up stuff that I know she has. Right. Although my folks have a lot of carb stuff and right. a lot of ice cream and stuff right. that kids like. But for me, the stop is really for me because I know I can get stuff that I need. Right. So that I can at least, at least have one or two meals a day that I can control. At least and, get started. And, and get yeah. started off right. So that's just, but again, that's part of just living keto for a while and thinking things through. Um, you know, I don't know, everybody's families are different. And but you everybody know, if you looks... think about it, a lot of times that's something that you would do anyway. Even if you were eating, you know, whatever. If you were going to go and see your parents, you know, they're 90 years old. It's like, yeah, well, you I, might yeah. stop and get some things that you liked anyway because you don't know what yeah, they're going to have. Yeah, so, my folks are pretty old. You know, so... like it's all the way you look at it. You yeah. know, you could look at it as an inconvenience or you could look at it as, this is, you know, these are the holidays. These are things that we would need to do anyway. We, yeah. you know, call with and check with friends what we're having, what we can bring. You know, it's just part of yeah. living. And it's just part of living, and it's part of living the keto lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've made that decision to, to do keto, live keto as a lifestyle. Even if you made a decision to do keto just as a diet, mm -hmm. if you're trying to stick with it, sometimes it's going to be a little bit challenging. inconvenient or yeah. cha challenging for you. Uh, especially if you visit other folks that you know, uh, friends or family. Uh, you know, one thing that's not on this list is, so we talked about travel, talked about visiting, visiting other, other people. people. Well, I guess, we are, feel good. I guess we are down to the last one. Uh, when you're depressed. So you want to talk about that? Yeah. It's winter. 
<laughs> I mean, we're gonna go through the holidays. And we're gonna have yeah. You know, we're gonna have you know an elevation of of happiness, visiting with people, family, friends. Yeah. You know, when those times are over and we start heading into the beginning of next year, and we go through February and some of those dark times. You know, we have daylight savings time now. It's getting dark. It's cold. It's wet. It's ugly. Yeah. All of those things. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a natural inclination, even if you just have, you know, seasonal affective disorder, that you might go through some times of depression. There might be things that happen. You might, you know, have illness in your family. Um, you know, things that you don't foresee occurring it can cause a level of depression, or you, you know, you go through times of stress. Sure. And so, a lot of times when that happens, your first inclination is to cling to foods that you ate in the past in order to comfort yourself. And yeah. that's perfectly normal. We're all human. All right. So that to me is one of the times where being ketogenic can be difficult because you instinctively reach out to comfort yourself with foods, foods from childhood, foods that your grandma used to make, whatever the case may be to help yourself feel better. Yeah. Now I think one of the things I think I can say for myself is, uh, cause we live in a area where it, in the sum, in the summer, in the winter, it's really dreary, yeah. dreary most of the time. Um, we, you know, we talked about the rain, and but so it's easy for us to get the whole seasonal depression thing. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the ways that I have dealt with that on keto is, and, you, and some people may have also experience this. I might still be doing keto, but maybe I'm eating more than I need to be eating. Right. Uh, so if I really like a sugar-free <coughs> Lily's chocolate bar, instead of eating a half a bar, I'm going to eat the whole bar. <laughs> and then I'm going to maybe think about then what else can I eat because because I am dealing with something emotionally. Right. And, um, and so I think I've, I've noticed that about myself. So because I think we've done keto long enough where I'm not going to go get a donut. Right. I'm not gonna go eat a pie. It ends up being more but, of keto, right. more ketogenic. But food I'm gonna than eat would like more to of the keto right. stuff that I right. know I can eat. Which is better. Food. That is a step. Don't get us wrong. Yes. That is a step for sure. If you're gonna have a Lily's chocolate bar versus a real chocolate yes. bar or yes. a gallon of ice cream or whatever your your red light food was before, that is definitely a step in the right direction. Yes. But yeah. you also know that you know doing that can't continue for a really long period yeah. of time or what the goals that you're trying to meet or the goals that you're trying to keep yeah will be a lot more difficult for you to maintain yeah and i noticed you know i just started uh tracking my food again uh using what it's what's that called carb manager um, i had never used carb manager before thought i'd give it a try i actually like the app but um i did notice as I'm tracking my food, the days when maybe I go over some of my numbers, which is interesting. I don't really go over my carbs that often. The net carb, I don't go over that that often at, at all. Uh, some, but I will go over fats sometimes, and sometimes I'll go over too much protein. Mm -hmm. But as far as what what it's suggesting that I have, but I also look at it. I think it's those days when I'm probably dealing with something emotionally, or maybe I'm under some stress at work. And I'm probably just eating out of habit, right? And grabbing stuff just, just because out food of habit. is yeah. a comfort for most of us, you know. Yeah, we've been taught to eat when things are good and eat when things aren't good, and so sometimes it's just a reprogramming of yourself, maybe yeah. doing something else, finding another hobby or another habit that right. you could perhaps turn to right. besides eating. Right. That's when you're when you're feeling down and depressed, it's easier to uh, want to reach out for stuff that you're comfortable yes. with. And yes. I think though when you get to a certain point on keto, like I, you may be like me, you might reach for more keto stuff than you should be eating uh, normally. And you know what? That may be the, the lesser of two evils. Right. You know, because like it's like Sarah said, you at least you're not just going completely off you just you're just maybe eating a whole chocolate bar versus a half a chocolate bar right and so <laughs> and i'm talking a sugar-free yes, chocolate yes yes so anyway i think we just wanted to kind of talk about these times when keto can be we wanted difficult. to have some real talk because yeah. you know sometimes there's and no sugar coating there are tough times when yeah. 
you know. And even if you were practicing the ketogenic lifestyle, if you were doing Weight Watchers, if you were doing something else, these these still apply because you are practicing a lifestyle that is different than what you were doing before. So that's true. You know, it's it's just one of those things where it's just a reminder that we're all human. We all go through tough times, but you can make it. You can yeah. get through it, and these things will pass. And you just keep plugging mm. along with keto. And there's nothing wrong with feeling like that. No. There's nothing wrong with feeling like. And wow, it's nice sometimes you know, to know that other people feel that yeah. way. It's just normal. It's yeah. just a normal it's part of life. life. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, there, there's always things that we're comfortable with and habits that we have that we're. It's easy to try to fall back into. Try to and, get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, that's our keto conversation for this week. We hope that you have a great rest of the week. If you're new here, we do these keto conversations every week where we talk about rele relevant keto topics. We do new recipes every Sunday. We're all on recipe number four of our uh, Thanksgiving holiday recipes. You don't want to miss this week's recipe. Uh, it is the bomb. I mean, it is really good. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to you making that again. You're going to be and eating it twice. Yes, that's okay. Because I'm going to be making one for our channel, and then I will also be making one yes. to take to our family. That's okay, party. because <laughs> I might be depressed and need to eat three pieces of it. So, anyway, and I'm not trying to make light of depression. Do you want please. to say what it is? Uh, sure, you can say it's, what it is. It's going to be orange cranberry cheesecake, so you definitely don't want to miss it. Yeah, that. and it is really good. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss that recipe. But you don't want to miss any of the recipes that we do. And we also want you to be part of our Keo family, part of our community, uh, because we're, we really do believe that we can, together, we can all help each other be successful in keto and not only lose weight, but have a healthier lifestyle uh, as well. So thanks for being here, and we hope that you have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye. Peace. Peace.